Our next speaker is uh, the head archivist at the Computer and Video Game Archive at the U of M Library. Sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a big round warm of applause for Dave Carter. Lights, can you hear me? All right. Space bar to start. Excellent. Um, so Jersey uh, earlier convinced us that comics are great and that we should read them. So hopefully I will tell you about some awesome comics uh, should read. And uh, you, the question you might be asking yourself is, Dave, um, what exactly do you mean by awesome? Um, there are many ways that one can evaluate a comic. One can look at its literary merits, do you like the characters, do you like the plot, you can look at the art, you can look at the storytelling techniques, etc., etc. Um, but what I mean by awesome is, is a, a gorilla with a jetpack. Um, <laughs> when I first saw that Cobra cover, I'm like, it's a giant gorilla, cybernetic gorilla with a jetpack. Why do they bother making any other comics anymore? Because we've reached the pinnacle of what we can accomplish as a culture. Um, I'm not going to tell you about these comics. Um, hopefully you're an uh, educated, geeky crowd. You already know about Watchmen and Promethea and Why the Last Man and Calvin and Hobbes and Maws and Persepolis and Scott Pilgrim, etc., etc. Um, I'm instead going to hopefully tell you about some comics that are slightly off the beaten path. I'm going to start with Banana Sunday, which is by Paul Tobin and Colleen Coover. Um, Kirby is a uh, girl who's new in school, and she also has with her three talking monkeys. Um, it's a lot of the stuff you know that would typically go on in you know these sorts of comics, but there's talking monkeys, and monkeys make everything better. Um, Star Drop is by Mark Oakley. It's about a warrior princess who's tired of fighting the Galactic War, and so comes to Earth. Um, where she's trying to fit in and they're trying to drag her back up up and everybody's very polite because it takes place in Canada. Um, <laughs> um, Larry Martyr's Green World is very hard to describe, um, but it, it's about ecology, it's about the group, it's about individuals, it's the place of an individual within the cartoon beans. Um, it's, it's, as I said, the most peculiar comic book experience. Uh, the Muppet Show comic book, if you're a fan of The Muppet Show, uh, Roger Langridge uh, recently did The Muppet Show comic book, basically taking everything you loved about The Muppet Show and put it into comic book form, including Muppet Labs and Pigs in Space, and the stuff going on behind the scenes and guest stars, etc. Um, Book Hunter is by Jason Shiga. It takes place in the Oakland Public Library in 1973 as, as though it were a, a detective, hard-boiled detective um, story, uh, and complete with the action and racing book carts um, through the card catalog um, area. Um, this is the most awesome comic book cover ever. It's in Strange Adventures. It's a gorilla with a gun in a library saying, you will put these books inside this palace. When I read these three novels, I can conquer the world. They're Treasure Island, um, Moby Dick, and Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> Um, it's taking about superheroes, uh, the Marvel Adventures line from Marvel, they say it's for kids, it's actually awesome. Um, this is Ego, the loving planet, who's a sentient planetoid who comes to Earth because he's fallen in love with the Earth. And the, this is a scene where the Hulk is trying to tell Ego that Earth just wants to be friends. Um, Captain Britain in MI-13, Captain Britain, uh, this is the third uh, story arc where Dracula from his base on the moon launches vampires out of cannons towards Europe. <laughs> All-Star Superman, I could do an hour literally on All-Star Superman, uh, but it's pretty much everything that's great about the Silver Age Superman stories brought into the modern age. Uh, it's Superman, giant robots, Lois Lane, what more could you ask for in a comic book? Uh, which brings us to the most awesome comic cover ever, Non-Monkey Division. Uh, this is by Jack Kirby. It's Superman the Guardian carrying a picture of insult comedian Don Rickles, and it says across the top, Kirby says, don't ask, just buy it. <laughs> Uh, Xenozoic Tales is by Mark Schultz. Um, it's in the future post-collapse when dinosaurs once again roam the Earth. Um, the, the subtitle catalogs and dinosaurs, it's got cards, it's got dinosaurs, it's got manly men and, and beautiful women, and it's sort of drawn in that, the classic style. A uh, Gone is about a little tiny dinosaur who somehow survived into the modern age and interacts with the local of uh, like, like a, a dinosaur riding a lion, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's manga, it's all completely silent, and, it, and it's, uh, there's no word balloons or anything like that. Uh, the Middleman, which you may have seen the TV show, was originally a, a, a comic book. That's here, um, they protect us against aliens and Cthulhu cultists and giant man sharks and, and whatever. Um, I, I, if you like man sharks, you'll love the Middleman. Uh, finally, uh, <laughs> Zombies Calling, which is by Faith Aaron Hicks, where um, zombies invade a Canadian uh, university. University, and the characters have actually seen zombie movies, um, so they know how to react to the zombies and like use a spork uh, to attack them, and they're ass-kicking ninja skills kicking. Um, I could go on and on about other awesome comics 
Um, this clutch is a one VF appear. I could only pick 12 because I only had like five minutes to squeeze in the awesomeness. Um, but I commend to you all these comics as well uh, for you to read. And this is, and there are extended notes on this presentation on my blog, yet another comics blog, um, to tell you a little bit more about where you can find these comics. And uh, thank you very much for listening to me rant on. And for <laughs>